Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we are going to discuss about another topic related to Q shell command. So mainly we are going to discuss about a way through which we can list down all the files and directory with their inode number. Okay. So this is our topic for today. Now before we start this uh, session, let me tell you like how we are going to proceed with this session. First of all, I'll tell you about uh, the inode number. What is inode number? Why we need that? And then later I'll uh, show you some commands that we can utilize in order to fetch the list of files and directories uh, with their corresponding inode numbers. Okay. And once we are comfortable with the uh, commands and theoretical things, then we will see like how we can utilize the uh, same command through uh, CLLE program. Okay, so this is how we are going to proceed with this session. So what we are going to do now, I'll uh, firstly show you how to write the QSH command. Now what is QSH? Uh, those who directly joined the session for them, uh, I'm just telling you like QSH uh, is a command which we can use in order to open the command entry. So hitting enter. After hitting enter, you can see it is uh, showing this QSH command entry. Now here you can use any of the command related to QShell. Okay, fine. So now what we need uh, to do, like uh, I'll tell you about the ls command. So what is ls? ls is nothing but a command that lists down all files and directories. So if I hit enter here, you will see that these are the files and directories which we have populated with the help of ls command. So this thing we have already covered, right? This thing we have already discussed. Now, today we are going to see about how we can list down these files and directory along with their corresponding inode number. Now the question is, what is inode number? And second question is, why we need inode number? So inode number is, a, you can say it is a unique address or unique number given to each and every file. I repeat my words that inode number is the number which is un which is used uh, to identi to uniquely identify the file and directories. Now, if I give you one example, then uh, most of you know about the RPG thing, right? Uh, or PF things. So in PF also, like we we saw that uh, there is some RNN numbers, relative record numbers. So similarly, we uh, here. For the files and directories, we have inode number. Inode means index number, index node number. So every node is associated with some index number. Okay. Now, if I take another layman example, then you can relate this thing with a book. So in a book, what we see, uh, like there are multiple chapters in the book. Then for each chapter, there are some topics and then for those topics, there are some subtopics. So each and every topic, subtopic chapters are associated with some page numbers. So let's say if someone wants to read the book for a specific topic or subtopic, then what he will do? Firstly, he will look for the index page of the book. Once he find the index page of the book, then he will simply uh, navigate for the uh, the chapter which he in which he is interested then he select the topic and then later he select the uh, subtopic when he find the subtopic then he will uh, check the corresponding page number for that subtopic and then he can simply jump directly to that page and read out the content okay so same thing you can relate with this command which we which i'm going to show you now w what it will do it will list out all the files and directories along with their inode number okay so let me hit the command now. Command is ls iphone small i. So if I hit enter here, you will see that it printed all the files and directory and each and every files and directories are, uh, is associated with inode number. So this is the inode number. Similarly, this is also inode number. Then this is inode number. So these are the inode number which we use in order to uniquely identify the files and directories. Okay, and the main thing is that each uh, number is unique. You 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 will not find any number repetitive. So this is uh, the purpose of using the inode number. 
so like whenever a uh, system want to perform anything or w w want to track anything then the system will use these inode number in order to track the files and directories so i think now the question is clear to all of you like what is inode number and why we need that we need that for a uh, for uniquely identifying the files and directories later when you study more about these QCL commands maybe I'll cover that topic also uh, where we will see some practical uses all as well okay but for time being we are just focusing on the command and their output so command is ls i and output is files and directories associated with their inode number now one question can we uh, use the command in this way ls hyphen capital i no if you try to hit this command ls hyphen capital i it will give you this message ls 123051 uses this so it, it is not giving us that information wi in which we are interested actually we are interested in files and dir directories with inode number so just make sure that you provide ls hyphen capital uh, ls hyphen small i only otherwise you will not find the result another question what will happen if i make it capital ls in this situation it will work as expected so only the i thing the thing which is after hyphen should be in the same manner means it is case sensitive okay fine then uh, we have another uh, doubt for a command like what will happen if I remove the space so space is important if you don't give the proper space then it will give you this error, error which is 1219 error found searching for command ls i no search path or directory available okay so just make sure that always you put the correct command which is which is ls i okay so I think now you are comfortable with this command and all the questions are also clear like why we use inode number what is inode number and through which command we can populate the inode number okay now assume a scenario for some specific reason in your project you want to uh, hit this command but through CLLE program then how we can do this so for that I have already created one CL program so I'll show you how we can execute the same command ls i through CLLE program. Okay, so for that, let me take F3 from this screen. And my program name is run QSH hash. So if I take option two here, it will show you the details of this program. So here you can find CL program to list files and directories with inode. Okay, so what it will do, it will list all the this program by when whenever we call this program it will list down all files and directory with inode number so to fetch this or to execute this command we need to declare one variable so i'm declaring variable with dcl command dcl then i'm taking f4 providing the variable name type storage and length then simply hitting enter on hitting enter it will create this variable if you don't know about the basic thing then i would recommend you to go and check out the previous playlist because every session is in proper sequence so that will help you to understand the concepts more easily then you can simply write chgvar take f4 provide your variable name and the uh, the command so my command is ls i small i which we have already tested by executing on qshell right so this is the one thing then uh, to start the qshell command you just need to write strqsh take f4 provide your variable name here in which you have stored the command then simply uh, hit enter so now we are ready with the program so it's time to compile it and call the program so it is compiled now I'm calling this so once I call it you can see it is providing me the entire list of files and directories with their I don't number so this is what we are expecting from this program so it is working as per our expectation so this is uh, what all i wanted to, to share with you all in this session and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sharmat